What is the relation between the thinker and his thought? Now, is there any such relation, or is there only one thing, which is thought, and not the thinker? Because if there are no thoughts, there is no thinker. When you are thinking, when you have thoughts, is there a thinker? If you have no thoughts at all, where is the thinker? Now, having thoughts, seeing the impermanency of thoughts, the thinker comes into being. That is, thought creates the thinker, and because thoughts are transient, the thinker becomes the permanent entity. There is first the process of thought, and then thought creates the thinker, obviously. The thinker then establishes himself as a permanent entity, apart from thoughts. That is, thoughts are transient, they are always in a state of flux, and thought objects to its own impermanency, therefore, thought creates the thinker. It is not the other way round, the thinker does not create thought. If you have no thoughts, there is no thinker, so it is thought that creates the thinker. Then we try to establish a relationship between the thinker and the thought which has created him. That is, we try to establish a relationship between that which seeks to be permanent, which is the thinker created by thought, and the thought itself, which is transient. But obviously both are transient, since thought, which is transient, creates the thinker, and though the thinker may imagine himself to be permanent, he also is transient, because the thinker is the outcome of thought.